In this video, let us see about the fundamentals of AC circuit. There are two types of electric power, namely a DC and AC. If you take the DC quantity, it has a constant magnitude with respect to time. That is, it is represented by a magnitude and the frequency of a DC quantity is zero. Here in this circuit, this symbol represents that it is a DC voltage. The best example is a battery. If you take a AC quantity, the magnitude of this quantity changes with respect to time. So, and AC waveform will be represented by a magnitude phase which represents the point at which it starts and frequency. In India, the supply voltage for uh, home applications is 230 volt, 50 hertz, single phase AC. There are different types of uh, AC waveform. See, it can be of a sine wave or triangular or square or any waveform shape can be there. And in, this, in all these cases, you can see the same waveform repeats after a time period. So these waveforms are called periodic waveforms. But AC waveform can be non-periodic also. Let us see the characteristics of waveform. This is a sinusoidal waveform which starts from 0, reaches its peak value, then crosses 0, goes in negative direction again, comes to 0. This pattern is repeated again and again. So it is a periodic waveform. So this waveform repeats after a time period t. So this part is the time period t and half of that is t by 2. And next we have to know what is a cycle. So this one pattern is called as cycle. So the pattern which repeats again and again. So this is one cycle. So in cycle you have two parts positive half cycle as well as negative half cycle. And you should know one more term frequency. Frequency means number of cycles per second. That is in one second how many cycles will be there. So normally in our supply it will be specified whether it is 50 hertz AC supply or 60 hertz AC supply. And the time period and frequency relation are T equal to 1 by F. So let us see about frequency. Frequency, the unit of frequency is hertz. Frequency means number of cycles per second. So let us take this waveform. So for one second, I'm getting one, two, three, four. That is include this waveform as a whole. That is one positive half and negative half. So this waveform repeats again and again. So four cycles are there. Since four cycles are there in one second, it is a four hertz waveform. If you have 14 cycles in one second, it is 14 hertz. That's why if it is a 50 hertz means in one second, you will have 50 cycles. So let us see about 50 hertz AC supply. So frequency, we know it's number of cycles per second. T is equal to 1 by F. So for 50 hertz AC supply, T is equal to 1 by 50. That is 0.02 second or you can write it as 20 millisecond. So this is how we will draw the 50 hertz supply. That is, you see here, 20 millisecond is here. So the time axis is in millisecond. So Half of that will be 10 millisecond. So positive half will be here and negative half will be from 10 to 20 millisecond. So this positive half and negative half combined together we call it as one cycle. 
there are different terms used to represent the ac waveform like amplitude peak value peak to peak value so if you take the sinusoidal waveform this represents the amplitude which is almost same as the peak value so the peak value is the highest value of the sine waveform and peak to peak value is the uh, from top to bottom you measure the magnitude that will give you the peak to peak value and there are also other factors which are used in ac waveform like instantaneous value as the name uh, says at every instant the waveform has a different value so it is said to be a instantaneous value and peak value that is the peak uh, highest value average value and effective or root mean square value is there let us see one by one first what is instantaneous value so you see the waveform at every instant the wave uh, or the magnitude is different so this instantaneous value is useful to calculate the average power so like uh, if you are traveling in a city and you will be uh, traveling at different speeds but finally you will say that you traveled around that particular average speed so always your instantaneous speed is not same at every instant your speed is not going to be same but you know at average you traveled at what speed like that the instantaneous value can be used to calculate the average power now let us calculate the instantaneous power so instantaneous values are normally represented by small letters v of t i of t and p of t which represents the voltage current and the power and this t represents that this is a function of time now let us calculate what is the instantaneous power so what is the formula for our voltage into current here voltage and current are in in phase so v of t is equal to vm sin omega t i of t is equal to i m sin omega t so this is the way to represent the sine wave form so power is equal to v into i so you substitute for v of t v m sin omega t i of t is i m sin omega t so v m i m sin square omega t so instead of sin square i can write it as 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 so you have two terms here vm im by 2 minus vm im by 2 into cos 2 omega t so if you see this term vm im by 2 it is a constant one or a dc quantity so this represents the average power so from instantaneous power you can calculate the average actually if you see this term you have cos 2 omega t here so it is a function of time and this is a cos function with double the frequency so this if you take any cos or sin function and find the average average will be over a complete cycle will be zero let us find the average value or the mean value for the voltage or current you take a sinusoidal waveform you can see here the same waveform repeats again and again so this is a symmetrical waveform so in symmetrical waveform if i take the average of this waveform the positive half and negative half remains the same so let me take a pen so if you see here this area is same as this area so when i take the average of these two it will become zero so whenever you have a symmetrical waveform you should take the average value only for half cycle that is your time period is only t by 2 but for unsymmetrical waveform you can take the average value for full cycle let us see how to find the average value so 
you take the instant value at different instance the values are different so average all the instantaneous value over one cycle okay so if it is a symmetrical waveform you can take for half cycle or if it is a unsymmetrical waveform take it for full cycle or i can write it as the area under the curve so the area under this curve divided by time period will give you the average value whether it is a voltage or current or any wave anything you can write it as area under the curve divided by time period let us find the average value of a sine wave so we can find the average voltage for any wave but now we are finding for a sine wave form so the sine wave form is represented by v is equal to vm sin omega t so v average is equal to you should find the area divided by the total time period so here you can use a integration 0 to i am taking only t by 2 because it is a symmetrical wave form 0 to t by 2 into v of t into dt and divided by total time period is t by 2 so t by 2 v of t is represented by vm sin omega t so vm sin omega t integrate this one integral of sin omega t is minus cos omega t now apply the limits 0 to t by 2 so omega is nothing but 2 pi f that is omega will be in radian per second so that is equal to 2 pi f so f is 1 by t so you can write omega t equal to 2 pi so instead of omega t you put 2 pi here so 2 2 get cancelled you will get cos pi so cos pi is minus 1 cos 0 is 1 so you substitute the values you will get the average voltage for a sine wave form is 2 vm by pi see remember one thing this is applicable only for sine wave form for only for this sine wave form you will get this value so this is how you have to find the average value for any wave form but this value you will get only for sine wave form now let us see what is this uh, rms value so you see the supply voltage here what is the magnitude of this supply voltage we normally say what we get is a 230 volt 50 hertz ac supply so what does this 230 represents in ac waveform this voltage this voltage or this voltage at what voltage it is representing we don't know because it is not peak value what value actually it shows here uh, if you connect our tv we will get only 230 volts and you can see in any adapter it will be written 230 volt 50 hertz so what does that uh, 230 volt represent it all represents the rms value so let us see what is that rms value let us see about the root mean square value rms value take an ac circuit which supplies a resistive load and this current is causing a heating effect here suppose this current is passed for 1 uh, r and it is producing some heating effect now let us take another circuit the same resistance is here and the current is passed for the same time now this voltage is adjusted so that the same heating effect is produced here so in that case this voltage dc voltage is called the effective value of the ac or it is called the rms value so the rms value of an alternating current is given by steady dc current so this is the steady dc current which when flowing through a resistor for a given period of time produces the same amount of heat as produced by the ac circuit when flowing through the same circuit for the same time okay so ac is producing some heat energy for a particular time period and you are getting one dc value 
to produce the same heating effect for the same time period. So, this value, this equivalent value is said to be the RMS value. So, you calculate the power delivered to the resistor in case of AC circuit, it will be P is equal to, so you are calculating average power, so 1 by T into 0 to T, power formula is I square R, so you will get the power. Now, for DC circuit, power is nothing but I square R. So, now, According to the uh, definition, we can equate this power and this power. So, I effective square is equal to this one. So, I effective is equal to square root of the same thing. So, I effective and I RMS both are same. So, RMS value is also called effective value. You can write here RMS value also. So, I effective is equal to this is the formula. So, let us find the RMS value of the sine voltage. So, V is equal to Vm sin omega t we know. So, like uh, already we have derived for average value, same uh, procedure. Let us find the RMS value. V RMS is equal to square root of 1 by time period t 0 to t Vm sin omega t the whole square into dt. See, remember here. It is root mean square value. Always square it and then you have to find the mean value. Mean means average it. So, divided by 1 by t and here you have root. So, take the square root. So, same procedure sin square omega t. You can write it as cos 2 omega t. So, simplify it. Apply the limits, so you will get Vm by 2. So, Vrms nothing but Vm by root 2. That is peak value divided by root 2 will give you the Rms value for sine wave. So, for a sine wave, peak value is Vm, this one. And average value is 0.637 Vm, that is 2 Vm by pi. So, average value is here. RMS value is just above average value. So, for a sine wave, this is peak value, RMS value and average value. This peak factor is given by peak value divided by RMS value. This factor helps to find the insulation thickness in wires. So, you cannot uh, pass a high current through a low insulated wire because it gets meltdown. And another factor is there that is called form factor which is given by RMS value divided by average value. So, this helps to define the shape of the waveform. So, for each waveform, the form factor will be different. For square wave, it is 1. For sine wave, it is 1.11. And for sawtooth, it is 1.155. So, for by seeing the form factor, you can identify the shape of the waveform. So, the points to remember here are AC quantity. The magnitude will be varying with respect to time. And V peak, V average and V RMS are given by this formula. And always remember this waveform. And RMS value is the steady DC current which when flowing through a resistor for a given time produces the same amount of heat as produced by the AC circuit when flowing through the same circuit for the same time. Peak factor, peak value divided by RMS value. Form factor is RMS value divided by average value. And if you like the video, do subscribe to Read Electric Vehicle channel. And these are some of the references.